These underwater fields look a lot like grass, don't they? Well, what you're seeing is actually seagrass. Native seagrass communities provide marine life areas to forage for food, protection from predators, and most importantly, nursery habitat for juvenile fish. Hey guys, my name is Colin Hab. I'm a marine biology graduate student at the University of the Virgin Islands in St. Thomas. We are located right here next to Puerto Rico in the Caribbean. My fellow graduate students and I wanted to analyze the potential impacts of an invasive seagrass species called Alophila stipulacea. An invasive species is something that is not native to an ecosystem. This species is an invasive seagrass called Alophila stipulacea, or invasive paddlegrass. Commercial ships unknowingly brought invasive paddlegrass all around the world from the Red Sea near the Indian Ocean to the Caribbean, allowing it to spread to over 19 Caribbean islands. The impacts of this invasive paddlegrass are largely unknown. What we do know is that it can rapidly colonize the seafloor, overtaking native seagrass species, especially in scarred or damaged patches. Our graduate research aimed to investigate how this invasive species affects juvenile fish species. We set traps in sand, the invasive species, and two native seagrass patches in three different locations on the south side of St. Thomas to determine the abundance of juvenile fish communities within each habitat. Each fish that we caught was measured, identified to the species or family level, photographed, and placed back into the water. Back in the lab, the statistics team analyzed the data, and this is what they found. Overall, we found that there were higher abundances of fish in the invasive seagrass compared to the native seagrass. Interestingly though, we found more different types of fish, meaning we had higher species diversity in the native seagrasses compared to the invasive. Inside the invasive seagrasses, we found mostly nocturnal carnivores like snappers and grunts, where the native seagrasses we saw a wider range of species. What this means is that Halophila stipulaceae is coming in and it is taking over the sea floor. This will cause lower species diversity and the species that do live there are going to have to use their environment differently. Thanks to the study conducted at UVI, we see that Halophila alters native fish communities. As in the case of many invasive species, management can be very challenging. Because we scientists believe Halophila stipulaceae traveled to the Caribbean by commercial boating, we can slow the continued spread through awareness and conscious boating practices, such as using moorings and being careful where you anchor. Just remember, Spread the word, not a lot of